Hi. Over the past few years, we've had a look at these various scan tools from Launch, King Bolan, and ThinkCar, and I think these are all essentially from the same manufacturer. And I thought what we'd do today is quickly just compare the features of all of these so you can make a slightly more informed decision which is the right scan tool for you. So we'll start with the lowest cost device. This is the eDiag Mini. And this one is about £55 in the UK. And this one is just a Bluetooth dongle in this small compact form factor. The type of thing that you can keep with you on the go. And I often keep this in my bag just in case you need to do some diagnostics while you're away from home. This one is designed for normal passenger cars, so 9 to 18 volts. It won't work on trucks and that kind of thing. But this one uses your mobile phone as the user interface. So uh, you download the software which has lifetime updates. You can plug this into a vehicle, update the software as needed, and you can do things like scanning for codes and also some basic reset and service functions. So when you load the software onto your phone or tablet, you get this user interface, which is very familiar across all of this brand of devices. And if we're going to all systems diagnostic here, this is where you have all of the different brands of vehicle that this unit supports. Now, it doesn't support CAN FD, so there are a limited uh, range of cars that it won't support, but you can go in here and put your brand if it's supported in here. And what it will allow you to do is communicate with every single module that's on the CAN bus in your car. It will allow you to read and clear codes, and it will also allow you to live stream the data from each of those different modules. So you can look at the parameters in real time as your vehicle is running. Now there's also the maintenance function. I think there's 15 of these, but these are not included with the unit. So um, other than I think the oil check that comes with it um, for the first year, you do have to pay for these. So if you want to do things like uh, some functionality to do with your DPF, like a forced regeneration, you do have to pay the $19.95 and then that will give you a license for this for a year. But there's all of these different functions that you can have for this unit. Then we have the Think Diag 2, which is a little bit more expensive than the previous one. This comes in at about £120 in the UK. This is another one that is a Bluetooth dongle. It doesn't have a user interface. It uses your phone or your tablet. There's a little cable that plugs into here, and then that plugs into your diagnostic port. And then on here, we've just got some LEDs for the status, and we've got it on the other side as well. And this one has a significant amount of functionality. This one allows you to do ECU coding, bi-directional and active tests. It allows you to diagnose all the systems in your vehicle. So it allows you to stream data from every single module. It also allows you to clear and read codes from every module. And it also has uh, 15 maintenance functions. You can also do some of the adaptation features and the mobilizer key matching. Uh, but the downside to this one is that the license expires after one year and then you just have the basic functionality after that one year. So pretty much everything on here requires a paid license. So with this one, again, kind of a similar user interface to the previous one. And we can go to all systems diagnostic here, click on go, and then you've got all the different uh, vehicles that it supports. Now this one supports CAN FD, so there's more support for more vehicles. But as you can see, it does expire after a certain amount of time so this one's going to expire next year in July but you've got all of these vehicles that you're able to diagnose then we've got the maintenance functions and these are all of the ones that are supported on here so a quick look through all of those things like EGR suspension uh, DPF functionality again these will need renewing after one year uh, but one thing about the software for this they do often have promotions so as you can see it says mid-year promotion up to 75% off but uh, after that one year, the licenses do vary in price anywhere from about $50 up to about $100, depending on what it is that you want to renew on there. Then we have the first of the tablet type diagnostic devices. This one is the Kingbone S500, but there's also the 600 and the 800. And these vary in price from about £120 up to about £180. And the difference between the three different models is the number of reset services that are included. Now this one's a slightly more basic scanner. This one allows you to communicate only with four of the modules. So the engine module, the transmission, ABS and airbag systems. Uh, so if we go into diagnostics here, it's got a bunch of vehicles that it supports, so all the different brands here, but it al only allows you to communicate with those four different modules. So you can't go scanning off for the camera or the headlight module, for example. Now, if we go into maintenance functions, 
the S500 just has these four uh, maintenance functions, so brakes, ETS, oil, and SAS. But if you move up to the S800, which is the most expensive, we have 15 different functions in this list here. And the other nice thing about this unit is it does have free updates for life, so there's no further fees to pay for once you've purchased the unit. So you just have this nice unit with a battery built in. It does have a cable that connects to the diagnostic port, so you are limited to using this while you're in the driver's seat. But this is a nice basic tool which allows decent functionality for you know the type of DIYer that might want to do some servicing themselves each year. Then we've got the launch CRP49C, which is coming in at around £260 in the UK. And it's in this portrait type format. We've got some dedicated keys at the bottom here. Uh, we've got this touch screen at the top here. Now, the specifications are a little bit confusing because on the various websites, it says it's for communicating with four modules, the ABS, SRS, transmission and the engine. But when I connected this to my Ford Mondeo, uh, Euro Ford here, I was able to communicate with every single module in the car. You can check my uh, dedicated video for this unit, but for some reason I was able to communicate with every module in the car. So uh, I don't know if the specification is wrong, whether this one was unlocked for all modules. Uh, but yeah, this one allows you to read codes, clear codes. Again, we can live stream the data and also plot it on a graph on the screen here. We do have some reset functions as well. So we've got this selection, not as much as some of the more expensive devices, but uh, it's got things that are important like inject coding, DPF regeneration, uh, things like immobilizer reset, battery reset if you replace your battery. Uh, so all of the important service functions are included in this unit and it does support a wide range of vehicles. Now, when I click on diagnose here, it's only got a few here, but uh, as you can see, if we go to firmware upgrades here, it's got all of the other vehicles that it supports. So lots of vehicles. And also free updates again for life. So this is a really nice unit that allows you to continue updating the software and use it for the entire life of the unit. Moving up in price, we have the ThinkScan Max 2, which is another tablet type device, but this one is Bluetooth. So we've got the dongle conveniently stored at the bottom here. You plug this into your diagnostic port and then you can walk around with this unit um, and do your diagnostics, for example, from the engine bay. So this one's coming in a little bit more expensive than the previous devices, about £260 in the UK. But this one has a lot of functionality and since my previous video on this unit, this one actually has free lifetime updates. So you can use the majority of the functionality without having to pay for any additional licenses. The exception is the bi-directional tests only work for one year. And then if you want to continue using bi-directional tests after that first year, you pay $50. And also for um, ECU coding, if you want to have the ECU coding functionality after the first year, you also have to pay $50 for one more year. But other than that, all of the functionality is free. And this one allows you to communicate with every single module in the vehicle. Uh, you can do read codes, clear codes, um, you can stream the live data and also plot it. Uh, and also you've got things like these reset services as well. I think there's uh, about 28 on here. And this unit supports CAM FD as well. So it supports more than eight, uh, a thousand different vehicles uh, over the diagnostic port. So a really nice diagnostic tool uh, with a decent lifetime. Actually, I've used this one quite a lot. It's still got the protective film on it, but I use this one quite a lot. And uh, you can spend a full day on a vehicle and basically it starts to run out of battery towards the end of the day but it's a really really nice tablet device at a pretty keen price 260 pounds in the uk moving on to the slightly more professional type devices this one is a tablet unit and it's the launch crp 919 bt and this one's still coming in at the lower end of the price market for a professional type tool so this one's about 340 pounds i think in the uk and the BT stands for Bluetooth, so it comes with this Bluetooth vehicle interface. So you plug it into your diagnostic port here, and then this handles the communications with the vehicle. And it supports CAN-FD, so we're able to communicate with some of the newest vehicles on the market. Now there's a lot of functionality on this tablet, especially at this price point. Uh, so we've got things like maintenance services, so you've got 35 different maintenance services on here. We can communicate with a wide number of vehicles and on each of those vehicles it can communicate with every single module in the car. So if you want to go to the headlight module for example you can go in there, read fault codes, you can look at the histo history data and see what happened that to trigger that particular fault code 
And then we can also do things like stream the live data, but we also have bi-directional controls and active tests. So if you want to um, toggle a solenoid that's in the engine, for example, to make it do something, like the, uh, for the EVAP system, for example, you can do that from the tablet. You can make it trigger that solenoid and that will help you with your diagnostic. So a lot of functionality on here. The downside to this one is that the software is only available for two years and then you do have to buy an upgrade. Now, looking on the launch website, it looks like it's about £135 if you want to renew the software for a year, which is actually quite good compared to some of the more professional systems. Uh, so £135 for an additional year, and that allows you to have all of your functionality back. Then zooming out slightly for this slightly larger tablet device, this one is the Launch X431 Pro Elite. And this one is currently selling for about £375 in the UK. So very keenly priced for a pretty much professional device here. Uh, so this one, it doesn't have Bluetooth. This one has just a cable to the diagnostic port. And what I tend to find with these units and the pricing is that you get to a certain point and you're paying for a larger tablet if you want to pay more money. You pay more money if you want to have Bluetooth rather than a wired interface. And then you reach some threshold where it then becomes enhancements to the diagnostic tool itself. So you end up with things like the tree, which shows you how everything is connected on the canvas. And then as you pay a bit more money, you get access to detailed diagnostics, which allow you to look at wiring diagrams, or problems that people have had with a particular fault code and you get sort of a community and also uh, more access to things rather than just trying to figure out what's wrong from the diagnostic codes and the live data. So this one has a lot of functionality. We've got 37 resets on here. Uh, so we can go into here and we can look at intelligent diagnose or local diagnose. So you can go into here and you can pick all of the different vehicles that you might want to communicate with. This one has a lot of vehicles that it supports. Uh, you can do your service functions. So I think we've got 37 service functions on here. Um, so you can do all of those. And then you can also do remote diagnosis. So you can remote desktop effectively into this tablet. Uh, so if someone with more knowledge than you, you're getting stuck, you can ask them to log in and then try and do some diagnostics on your vehicle. So this one has a lot of functionality. The one downside to this unit is the software updates are free for two years. And then after that, you do need to pay for the additional functionality. So it locks down some of the usage. You can still use it to diagnose, but you can't do any of the service functions or anything like that. But to give you an idea of the price, you can go into Mall, and just for your information, this type of pricing structure is pretty common with the professional type devices. Uh, but you can see per brand of vehicle, we're talking at about $80 or so. But then if you wanna have it back to as it was when you bought the unit, we're talking $882, which is actually more than the unit cost. Um, and you get two years of updates with it if you buy a whole new unit. Now, you can go down in the scale. So if you only want uh, five different softwares, you can just do that for 264. But it is quite expensive to purchase the software after the initial two years. So you might want to think about buying a new tablet at that point. Other than that, it is a very functional unit, uh, very fast to communicate with all the modules in the vehicle. And the graphing function is really nice on this large screen. And for any of these devices, you can go and look at my individual videos where I go into more detail with each of these units. So I hope some of you have found that useful. If you are in the market for one of these diagnostic tools, one thing I'll say is this eDiag Mini I carry with me everywhere. It's a really nice little portable device that allows you to just quickly diagnose a problem if someone has a problem with their vehicle. So, you know, if you're in your work car park or something like that and someone's broken down, you can just plug this in and hopefully save the day. Other than that, I would say... The ThinScan Max 2, this one is probably one of my favourite devices. Uh, it's a really nice little tablet device and with the lifetime updates now, this one is pretty much hard to beat at this particular price point. So certainly uh, one that I would recommend. But if you're after some specific functionality that some of the others provide, then uh, certainly take a look at those and consider buying them in the links that I put in the description down below. Hope you found the video useful and until next time, thanks for watching.